Hello church family, I'm really excited today to have Pastor Matt and Asha with our update today. So um, our awesome, amazing, incredible, um, haven't got enough words to <laughs> say, um, youth pastors and doing no an pressure. awesome, amazing no job. Um, and so we're really excited to have them today. And Rob is also excited to be wearing a Panthers jersey, I have to say. You know, it's like, that's right, bring it on, bring it on. It's been 17 on, long years, so we might as well get there. Yeah, that's, that's right, it. that's right. Yeah. Jeremiah's actually never heard of it. It's never <laughs> been in his lifetime, so that's, true. That's, true. that's super exciting. And, you know, for, for us as parents, actually, we just we have Jeremiah, who's in Year 7 at the moment, and he's in Youth with You Guys. And so um, for us, though, we also have a 26 and 25-year-old who also went through youth. And then before that, Rob and I, that's where we <laughs> met, was <laughs> in youth. So if you need place. to find someone, go to youth where you can be a youth leader over there. But that's We're not, you know. Too. There yeah. are youth. There yeah. you go. See, it's the, it's the place, place to go. Place that's to right. Love. Yeah, that's right. Now, can, before Sonia goes on, I just, <laughs> I'm in the background here. And you might be wondering, what is Rob doing standing <laughs> Here. I'm just we're just maintaining good social distancing for right. this shot. That's why I'm standing yeah, here. That's right. Get four yeah. chairs in yeah. to the frame. Anyway, yeah. sorry. Don't give me a mess on you. Do you know I love the other night at youth because uh, you guys had the year twelve um, students in a panel and Jeremiah because youth are there fortnightly gathering at different age groups at the moment. And the Year 12 students were there and a couple of others who had already left Year 12 and they were um, working. And I just have to say from a parent perspective, the, the quality and the amazing character that all of those guys had in everything that they were talking about. So honestly, such great wisdom that they had. Yep. And I was, yeah, that's right, an absolute shout out to all of them. <laughs> As a parent, I sat back and thought, as if you're not going to send your kids <laughs> to go and hear that type of stuff. And I was really happy that Jeremiah actually got to hear that, even though he's only in year seven. Mm. And so from your perspective, what do you think maybe the purpose of youth is? Is it just to keep them preoccupied on a Friday <laughs> night so that Rob and I can now start to go out on date nights? <laughs> is that what it is? That's probably a, a big double win. Win. That's, a major, yeah, that's, right. that's a major perk. That's a major perk. <laughs> but I think what's kind of really unique about youth is, I mean... Um, I'm the eldest one there. I'm, I'm the eldest I'm, person. I'm 29 there, there uh -huh. but I mean, the majority of our leaders are just fresh out of school, like yeah. they're in their 20s, they're in like 21 year, year olds. And I think they really um, bring a level of, of just enthusiasm, passion, energy, yeah. understanding. Um, and they're kind of, there's so many of them as well. Yeah. That, yeah. And they just yeah. love helping the younger generation. And yeah. it's a real. There's a real spirit of mentorship and yeah. understanding where they're at. Yeah. And um, I mean, there's obviously a whole lot of things as well, but that's when you talk about the year 12s, that's kind of who they are. You know, yeah. like they were just pouring out wisdom from genuine experience. Yeah, it, was, it was just great. And it was fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, that's one of the, you know, the kind of the big perks yeah. um, of, of youth. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think as well, like, especially in a season like this, yeah. it's so easy for our young people to retract into their own mm -hmm. selves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but the cool thing is, is that we're able to run, um, yeah. even though it looks a bit different at the moment, but we're mm -hmm. able to keep running and it keeps that connection yeah, with, with us as leaders, but also their peers um, and that connection with God as well. And, yeah. and coming into an mm -hmm. environment where they're learning about God, worshiping God, no singing, but you know, yeah. still worshiping, worshiping nonetheless. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. yeah and just keeping their heart soft towards the things of God as well, yeah. which I love. And mm. we've seen so much fruit over this season, actually. So it's yeah, been yeah. really, really awesome. Mm. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. I think like the um, the big thing that it creates as well is kind of friendships that are yeah. mm. beyond like the Friday night. Yeah, you know, like yeah. as in um, like these these leaders, they sometimes you know will do stuff whether they're playing games together online or whether they're kind of going out together yeah. and, and yeah. those kind of things where it's like um, they're, they're building these bonds which are kind of last through their yeah. 20s and 30s true, and yeah. I still have friendships with guys who are, you know, were in youth with me or were leaders with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. And it's the same with our older boys as well. Mm -hmm. They've still got totally. relationships with there's a group of them that all came through youth together and, you know, they're, they're good solid relationships sure. and they yeah. get to grow up. You know, all knowing each other, but just having some great relationships with each other as well. 100%. Yeah. yeah. 
And I think um, for me as well, one of the things that I love, and a big shout out to Jonah Peacock as well, because shout he out. is awesome. <laughs> and uh, Jonah obviously goes into the schools yeah. and um, helps with, he teaches scripture and does some other things like that. So why don't you just speak into that for a minute and that mm. connection with youth there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, like Jonah's a real workhorse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's across yeah. a lot of schools. A yeah. lot of people know him. Um, and there's a real good connection that he kind of brings between um, obviously, you know, meeting kids who are kind of just in different schools, maybe not connected with even our church in any yeah, way. Yeah. And obviously being a very huge part of our mm. kids ministry and our church ministry yes. and growing yes. up with young people. Um, yeah. Jonah is a very well-known person. Yeah. yeah. Um, even to kids who are in kindergarten, you know? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah so it's yeah. kind of like he, he brings this, um, you know, connection between these age groups and, and friendships kind of form from people from different schools. Yeah. Um, even where they wouldn't have had the chance probably to communicate or yeah. even, you know, relate to each other. And yeah. so that's what our, our leaders kind of do as well, you know, like they help to bridge the gap maybe yes. between social circles that wouldn't yeah. happen, yeah. even yeah. between age groups and, and it's just a whole range of different things, yeah. which I think is, is kind of a part of it as well. Like the leaders are, are doing things which very deliberately are building mm. relationships yeah. between yeah. people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, which sometimes if, if, you know, kids find it hard to make friends, it's a place where yeah, they can right. because yeah. there's a lot of safety and a lot of, yeah. people looking out for them so yeah, yeah. it's cool yeah. Mm. and of course uh, it's just you know school holidays are here and those types of things mm -hmm. and so what happens after school holidays in relation to year six and where that's up to there Yes, we're coming up to a very exciting term. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. term four. It is awesome. um, our year sixes join us, yeah. which is so, so exciting. It's actually really it's great. Like they seem so little, I though, Asha. They do. But, but they they're not. not. They'll be they the year 12s. I know. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really exciting. And term four just allows for this really good transition period. Yeah. Um, without them kind of going through everything at once, like high school and like just the mm. overwhelming yeah. nature of all of that. It's like yeah. just one step at a time and just inviting them into this new circle. And we're so excited. We're so excited yeah. that our year sixes can join us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there'll be a bit more info coming about that yeah. soon. Yeah. And yeah, we'll be getting in contact with you if you are a year six parent and you kind of have kids who are in year six in our church. Yeah. Um, yeah. But there'll be general stuff going around, floating around, even on our website, ironypenrith.com. Yeah. Uh, there's like a little parents tab on the website that has mm -hmm. a lot of information, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. can just explore the website and see different stuff or follow us on Facebook or Instagram as well, in youth yeah. on both of those platforms. Yeah. And that's usually where all the updates come through. One of the things that I really loved for Jeremiah, because that was only this time last mm. year for him, mm. was actually that then, of course, after Christmas is summer camp. Yes. And really for him to be able to begin some of those friendships at youth on Friday night mm. and to carry that through and then to be able to go mm. to summer camp yeah. was yeah. just very significant for him yeah. and some great relationships were formed there and so rather than sort of that sense of going starting youth with summer camp that don't yes. know anybody and they've already established some relationships there so that Definitely. was you know yeah. that was obviously a big bonus there for him too yeah. but um one of the other things actually you know at the other end of youth is year 12 <laughs> uh, like you just mentioned asha <laughs> but you know for us as a church this year we've got five Five interns and um, Matt helps us with the interns as well and these girls have just been absolutely fantastic this year shout and on out. the 15th that's right massive shout out because they have had a year in internship that no other interns mm, have ever no. had <laughs> Um, but do you know, actually 15th of November, we'll be having an information session for internship, but they're, they're really the core of that is about growing, serving and discovering. And so just wanted to um, seed that thought for people who maybe are just thinking about next year and going, what's my purpose? What do I want to do? Where do I want to focus? An internship could just be the place for you there. So thank you, Matt Nasha, for your time today. Thank you. I just really love you guys and, you know, the heart that you have for our kids and really just bless you for that. Thank you. Okay. Thank Cheers. you.